so okay so this is uh, over up to uh, rtl coding so after getting the micro architecture you will start with rtl coding okay what is rtl coding what do you know about rtl what is rtl Uh, what is RTL? Register transfer logic label. <coughs> that is okay. Okay, RTL code means RTL code is a code which is synthesizable code. Mm. Okay, so any synthesizable code is an RTL code. You can say. So, okay, what is this RTL simulation means? What is writing the code? We will simulate it for the functionality. Simulate means what is the need to simulate your code? We will check whether the desired output is attainable for the. So you are verifying something. Huh? You are verifying something, right? So is it a responsibility of a design engineer or is it is a responsibility of verification engineer? Verification engineer. <coughs> so. So um, this means that after writing RTL code, verification engineer will come into picture. Is it? So before that, when uh, the. Uh, these steps are going on architecture specification rtl coding during that time is verification engineer is sitting idle or he was doing some work right right who will uh, implement that uh, design okay that is a design engineer right but right but uh, next uh, step is verification engineer okay verify that code okay 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 so this means that verification engineer uh, will come at this step. In the after RTL, you can uh, test bench, developing the test bench. So after writing RTL code, you will develop a test bench. Yes. Uh, the, the verification engineer develop this test bench. When? When he will dis uh, develop? That is my question. When? After RTL simulation. So you are telling after RTL simulation. Okay. No, no. Actually, it's not, it is it, this step itself is a verification process. Okay. So. Uh, uh, in this whole design flow, 70% time is consumed by verification. Okay. So when our, our design engineers are working, they are working with architectural specification, all those things. Verification engineer is not sitting idle. Actually, they are also having responsibility. Okay. How verification engineer will verify a duty when they don't know what is there inside your duty, right? They need to read the specification. Uh, the Test benches which a verification engineer will engineer will write. Right, right. Uh, they should be according to the RTL or they could be independent of RTL. That should be independent of RTL. Means what? That uh, they could they can run any RTL. No, 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 no. no regarding no, that functionality. Yeah, yeah. They can uh, architecture. Your RTL is having architecture, right? Different companies are having different architectures. Okay, but your test bench should be very generic and robust so that. It will verify any design independent of other implementation. Okay. But you need to read the specification, right? How you will verify? Okay. See, suppose you are implementing a feature. Suppose you need a adder, simple example adder. You need to know the functionality of adder, right? How adder? If you will give two inputs as A and B, you will get an sum as an output, right? You should know at least this. Right? So this is what they are telling. Okay. Means when the inputs and outputs are specified, when the uh, uh, architecture is out, okay. the inputs as well as the outputs are out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Inputs, uh, this port declaration will come at uh, system level itself. Okay. Suppose you take, okay, take block level. Okay. Yeah. Verification engineer will not uh, uh, verify a block. Block, uh, a small block is verified by the design engineer itself. So that is called as ad hoc testing. Mm ad hoc verification okay when you in your design i told you in your block many blocks are there okay mm. so you will instantiate these block in one top and you will give the port list to the verification engineer mm. they don't know what is there inside yeah. your that's what I, I was trying to tell like uh, the block is there right. and the inputs and outputs are already there so uh, verify verification engineer need not wait for the inside part he can right. uh, carry the carry on the verification. Right, right, right. S no, no. He can't carry on the verification until or unless he uh, can write test benches. Right, right. So, uh, at what phase they will start writing test benches? After See. the architecture specifications are out. No, no. Actually, what will happen? 
uh, I will uh, clearly distinguish you what is verification, what is RTA. Okay. Two flows are there. Design flow you have already seen here. Okay. How it will go? We'll see the verification flow here. So whatever specification a design engineer will read, same specification a verification engineer will also read, right? So after reading the specification, uh, RTL engineer will implement architecture. What verification engineer will do? You heard something about verification plan. So verification engineer will implement, will start a verification plan document, okay? So what is there inside the verification plan is, they will tell what type of test bench they are going to implement. There are different way of verification, coverage driven, constraint random, assertion based verification, director testing, okay? Different way of testings are there. Which test bench, which sort of test bench you are going to implement? That is written in verification plan, okay? So that is what verification plan is. 